So, what's new in Logic 10? There's a new interface, a complete redesign of where things are and how they look, and there are lots of new features. MIDI plugins now do work previously done by setups in the environment, and now they're just there whenever you want them. Wouldn't it be neat if you had a drummer at your beck and call to play grooves while you're writing? Even neater if we had not just one drummer, but a whole bunch of drummers, each with their own personality and sound and specialty. That's one way of looking at the new drummer feature. There are lots of grooves, lots of sounds, you can tweak them, kind of takes drum loops to a whole new level. Bass players, you've watched enviously since Logic 8 as your guitar playing friends opened the amp simulator and chose heads and cabinets and mics and mic placement. And the era of envy is over because now there's a bass amp simulator and you can match heads and cabinets and mics too. Logic now has track stacks. Maybe your favorite sound is a combination of two patches or combines a sample and a wavetable. Well, in the old days, you could record enable two tracks and one would be an alias of the other. Now you can create an instrument, a stack, and perform the part with the stack. There's a new retro synth that will remind you of the glory days of synths like Moogs and PPGs and DX7s. Alternatives are new in Logic 10. The creative process is a series of choices. This tempo or that tempo. This chord or that chord. This sound or this other sound. The guitar solo before the bridge or after the bridge. Maybe it's more subtle than that. Maybe your alternative is just a little more lead vocal in the choruses, or a little less kick in the bridge. Alternatives let you save an alternative project right inside the project itself. In the old days, we'd save a different version, version 2 or alt version, but now it's right there in the file menu. So we'll take a look at that in context. There are new project management options that let you be efficient in your archiving. Once you're done with your backups, you can throw them all away in one button click. In terms of clearing files you didn't use, there are lots of takes you assemble in the course of doing a vocal or a guitar, and probably the only ones you want to archive are the ones you actually used. So that all becomes very easy in Logic 10. Logic Remote is an app that you add to your iPad, and then you can control Logic parameters wirelessly from across the room. So that's not all of what's new in Logic 10, but it's clear that this release is more than just a new paint job on an old app. 